Thank you for visiting this video segment for Dr. AFib. I'm Dr. Morales. Dr. AFib is your expert source for answers to all your questions about living with atrial fibrillation. In today's video segment, we're going to be talking about stress and atrial fibrillation and how stress can affect your atrial fibrillation and how proper stress management can improve your symptoms of atrial fibrillation. Now when I meet patients who have atrial fibrillation and they very commonly want to blame the stress in their lives for actually causing their atrial fibrillation. And in general, most of these patients also have very common traditional risk factors for getting atrial fibrillation such as high blood pressure, diabetes, or advanced age of over 70 year years old. Uh, so most commonly, stress does not cause atrial fibrillation, meaning that's the only reason why you got atrial fibrillation is our stressful periods in your life. Most commonly, the cause for developing atrial fibrillation are traditional risk factors like high blood pressure, diabetes, uh, having past heart attacks, uh, uh, age, uh, obesity. Those are more common traditional risk factors. But the stress in your life can certainly affect your atrial fibrillation and affect how frequent you're having, having episodes. So how is it that stress actually affects your atrial fibrillation? Well, there's a variety of ways in which the stress can affect your atrial fibrillation. One is that during periods of stress, your body kind of more releases uh, these kind of catecholamines, these kind of stress-related hormones, uh, which can increase your blood pressure and in which can in turn, uh, address, in turn affect having episodes of atrial fibrillation. But there's not, that's not the only way the stress can affect it. Um, there's several behavioral things that people do when they're having episodes of atrial fibrillation. Uh, I mean, I'm saying when they're having episodes of stress. You may have more caffeine use or you may have more alcohol use and both of those have been found to be triggers for atrial fibrillation. In addition, during periods of stress, people tend to worry more and they sleep less and that sleep depri deprivation also can trigger episodes of atrial fibrillation. So there's a variety of ways in which stress can affect and influence your episodes of atrial fibrillation or make your, more, your symptoms more severe, whether that be through the stress itself, some excess caffeine use, excess alcohol use, or sleep deprivation. Now, there have been some small studies which have looked at methods for managing your stress, which can improve your symptoms of atrial fibrillation and improve your quality of life. Some small studies which have looked at things like yoga or meditation, that sort of things that help you relax and help you deal with, uh, with, with your stress, uh, which can improve your episodes of atrial fibrillation and improve your symptoms. However, that doesn't replace uh, standard guideline recommended medications for either your symptoms or your risk of stroke. But certainly, uh, proper stress management, uh, including uh, management techniques such as yoga or meditation, can certainly help improve your symptoms and improve your, the way you feel. So please, if you're looking at stress management techniques or ways in which you can improve your stress, please discuss it with, with your doctor who knows more, a little bit more about your individual health history. Thank you for visiting this video segment for Dr. AFib. I'll see you next time.